Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I am here today. I am doing a very tedious harvest of our experimental bins. Um, so I'm going to bring you along for bits and pieces of it. I'm doing nothing really different than I ever do when I harvest. Um, I'm using, let me show you real quick, using this screen, which I have to clean out, over top of this bucket and I am hand picking out each and every worm and cocoon. So I just finished doing the blended scrap bin. I have to clean out a few straggler worms, but I'm gonna see how many um, cups of compost I got out of here, but relatively deep. Turned out really, really pretty. Look at that cocoon. I'm going to be picking out cocoons in a little while as well to try to give us, oh, here's a worm that came through, give us the most accurate um, takeaway as far as if the worms um, reproduced more in one bin or the other. So this is a pretty benign looking container, but this has all of the worms that I pulled out. And it is just a solid ball. So I am going to weigh these guys up and separate out my casting so I can have an idea of how much we have in this container and then I'm going to do the other one and we will wrap it up from there. Okay, so I just wanted to show you a little bit about how I screen my compost. If it has this good moisture content that I can screen it, I usually do. Um, but you certainly can use a method where you um, bait your worms off to one side and just scoop the compost out and use it directly in your garden. Um, it's all a per personal preference. Um, I will say that when you're using the screening method, you have to be okay with the fact that some worms might get injured, um, you know, they might die. Hopefully you'll be careful, but it is a possibility. So when I put my compost into my screen before I start shaking vigorously I try to pull out as many worms as possible so that I don't hurt them when I start to shake this about and in between rounds of you know, doing a handful at a time. I do use an old toothbrush and just clean out the grates a little bit because they do get clogged with um, some of the cardboard that's not broken down, things like that. So I go through, I try to pick out as many worms as possible. And once I feel like I've gotten most of the worms, that is when I start to shake about a little bit. This is my little workstation I have set up. And this is the point where I start to sift my worms and the castings through the grate. And I do this piecewise as well. I shake for a few minutes. I find some more worms to pick out. If I need to, I'll brush the grates and then I just continue. And I'm not going to do this whole thing again on camera, it's very time consuming. But once I'm left with just this unprocessed cardboard, I just take the grate and I dump it into a bucket of all the unprocessed product that I will put back through some of my other systems. I'll come back with you guys when I'm finished. Guys, I don't know if you're catching this, but as I'm harvesting here, there is a baby worm that is emerging from a cocoon right now. So I'm going to try to film this for a second. It's absolutely incredible that I even caught this. This is something I've only seen, I think, one other time. 
try to get out of the boat. I'm causing a shadow. But how incredible is that? Let's see if I back up if it'll there we go, focus a little bit better. Okay, so this is the container of worms I got from the um, whole scrap bin. You can see I have some cocoons in there as well. Anything that I could hand pick out went into this container. And I put the castings from each of the bins back in to the original bin. So I'm going to put these worms in with their whole scrap castings. And this is my blended scrap castings and the blended scrap worms. So I'm going to um, weigh these guys up and then I'm going to start picking cocoons out of our finished castings. Here's our whole scrap. This just doesn't fit well on top of here. There we go. Our whole scrap worms. Got eight ounces, so half a pound. Here's the blended scrap worms. 7.1 ounces. Here's the last shot of our worms. I just combined all of them and it is just chock full every single handful and see some cocoons there as well but this is just nothing but worms and i'm going to pop this in the mail in the morning to a friend so i'm gonna get these guys bagged up but i just wanted you guys to see exactly what we got from our harvest. Okay guys, so I ended up with some beautiful castings. I'm really, really pleased. Um, I'm going to post a video tomorrow um, of my harvest of the cocoons out of this, these castings. So um, I got tagged by someone um, recognized from my videos so I figured I could harvest some cocoons while I talked about that as you can see my floor is a mess right now in here um, so stay tuned for that and we will see how many cocoons we get out of all of these castings hope you guys have a great day drop your comments below like this video subscribe if you want some more content from me and I will talk to you soon